uh, what do you mean, Ceridian? War! Ceridian, what's wrong? War! 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 I don't think she can hear us. We need to go back to the swamps. You understand that? But it's a bird. It's Ceridian, by way of the invisible, speaking through the crow. But it doesn't work both ways. Imagine having a conversation with someone far away. Alright, welcome to the next episode of Banishers, Ghost of New Eden. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. We can't just leave, so the only thing that we can do is uh, fast travel. And fast travel we shall. Can you feel it? I have goosebumps. The veil is tearing at me. This isn't good. Uneasy. Me too. By the way, guys, we got a new ability. It's called Ensnare. Not sure if that will help us to get um, all of the uh, webs, cobwebs away, but we're going to find out. And combat allows us to snare enemies. Which may be helpful just in order to crowd control a little bit. Is this a way of telling us we should hit these roots? No, it's not. It's just a way of telling us, Saiken, you can't go that way. If I bruise the bud so the specters inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. And here may ensnare uh, the core of a creeping ivy to restrain it. Was that it? that work? Did it not work? I think I messed it up. Shoot it, she said. Okay, well. Am I being stupid here? We can get to that ivy from the other side. Good, now the game is teaching us how to get rid of all of the ivy. The wards have weakened. Ceridian's power wanes. And 
is going to be interesting, right? Because we can finally get rid of most of these vines. Still not fully understanding it. Technically this here should allow me to just get that out of there. Join the target practice. Okay, like you we need it. to hit the main uh, source <clears throat> and then kill all of uh, the offsprings. Now I get it. Okay, cool. More witch stones. And there we can get back into the cave. Cool. See, that's the beauty about blind playthroughs. We're always finding it out together, eh? By the way, I couldn't really upgrade a lot of uh, the items because the game didn't give me a chance. Ooh. Nobody's home. I can feel it. Who there? Where could they be? Well, if I had to take a guess, <clears throat> they stepped into the void somewhere. Just a wild guess, a hunch, you can call it. So let me take a wild guess potentially somewhere here. If I bruise the bud so the specters inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. that solve the problem? No. Crows. They flock to that great tree up there. Hmm. Come on. <clears throat> Where are all of these things? We, we have two outlets, right? So one here, got that one, and that one, but it still isn't doing anything. Oh, there's a, there's a third one, sneaky you. Still didn't work. Hmm. Can't hit all three of them, clearly. That doesn't work out. Hmm. 
No, that doesn't work either. Quick and precise. Well done. They couldn't have made that any worse from... Well, that's the first minigame that I thoroughly do not enjoy. What a shite minigame that was. Not only do you need to find all of them, which, mind you, is difficult in itself, because they are sometimes hidden, but it's also time sensitive and you need to be, uh, sometimes uh, the inputs aren't really working that well. I can live with all of the other stuff, but this, pfft, not cool. For all of that effort, what are we getting? Shrine? Well, I guess that's fair. The banishers are here. Already? How unfortunate. You called us. Did I? I thought I had more time. In the end, it runs out for all of us. As I depart this old carcass, I leave no burning heart behind. Go or stay. To prevail, you must first set your heart at peace. When at last you face the nightmare, you must both be clear on what you want. You must. What do you mean? It is not for me to give you answers, only to prepare you for what awaits. Then we can all go to sleep. Seeker doesn't hate you, Rory. She's just not used to being trusted. Protect her for me. Uh oh. You're too late, old moss head, as ever. Okay. Oh, 
Well, he's not taking a lot of damage. At least not in the physical realm. Ensnare him. The ensnaring works very well. join in too? Oh, absolutely. Here you go. The crows are a bit disturbing. for you. Try this on for size. Three hundred, that's some damage. Oh, the crows. Nasty little buggers. Ariens a threat. What does it do? Manifestation cooldowns are decreased, but manifestation damage is decreased also. Hmm. 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 I like the flat damage reduction taken, to be honest. Uh, cooldowns are actually fine, and we already have cooldown ring. Um, 40 persistence. This here gives vitality, so answer no. Ethereal hope. Ethereal haste. Damage dealt by read increased 50 when all manifestation cooldowns. Uh, yeah, but. Mm. 
we are already at a relic stage uh, here. This I like as well. If we could upgrade it further, but we're already at relic stage, so I will upgrade everything else before that happens. Old Mosshead is no more. They'll never drink from your skull now, will they? Another ancient promise broken. But what about me? How do I live now? You're all I ever had, and all I'll ever have. <laughs> Can I set the world on fire now? I just want to see it burn. A pity. Farewell, then. She took me in when my father, when no one else wanted me. She taught me to stand up straight. Leave her be. For now. Hmm. Wow. They nail the emotional tone of many of those scenes. Flowers in her just perishing. That was beautiful. Really well done. I am tired. Of all this death. Want to talk about it? I will do. Okay, let's rest. What will become of Seiko now? She'll try to make sense of her pain. 
or perhaps she'll sit with it a while. Or mm. she'll try to kill it. Grief knows no rule book. When I returned from the war, I walked the wet streets of London for a long time. All I could feel was my heart digging a hole deep inside my chest. After what I had seen, what I had done, I just wanted the pain to stop. I wanted oblivion. Your ghosts were killing you. They almost pushed you to insanity, but you pulled through. I let myself be drowned. You're the one who pulled me out. Poetic, if melancholic. What's going on, Red? I feel lost. I can't even stand myself. I can barely stand to look at you. Something eats me from within. And it's growing. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. I scare me too. I am untethered from the world. But through you, I still feel like myself. I cling to this. The closer we get to my return, the further from life I feel. I care nothing for the living. I only care for what I can take from them. Do you feel that way about me too? No, of course not. What are we doing? We're reclaiming our world. The only way we can. Are you sure this is what you want? We made an agreement. Are you having second thoughts? Come on, Reed. I don't know. Maybe. Ceridian's death has changed things for you. Yeah. She had power. Purpose. She had love and she still chose to leave. Maybe she's right. Should we reconsider? It may not be too late to change our minds. But you must promise me, Red, whatever we decide, we stick to it. We cannot change our minds again. I swear it, my love. This is it. Red swears that he will help Anthea to come back to life. I want this. I want this, only real. I want to be with you in the flesh. <laughs> Our minds are set. We're going back. Thank you. Thank me when you're back. Halfway through the game, he's considering whether or not his arrangement even made sense. Is it worse to lose your faith in your fathers than it is to lose faith in yourself? Those in the harrows who lived would be wise to look inwards, to reflect and then to pay penance. But none carry a greater burden than young Lamentation Haskell. How will he guide the faltering faithful when he has so little faith in himself? New haunting cases have manifested in New Eden. Once you leave uh, the shelter, you can go for them. And go we shall, but not before we upgrade the brooch. We're lacking copper for more upgrades. Why can't we upgrade the Bane Ring? What is your problem? Okay, I, I will need to do that.
and we will definitely need to get a couple of these haunting cases done because we need the essence for further leveling up also making her stronger Good, haunting case here, haunting case there, two haunting cases in the Harrows, which we're going to take. Another breach uh, has just manifested there. Lots to do, lots to do. Good, let's get to the Harrow and start there. And uh, not rest, fast travel, and we want to go to the Harrow's. Fast travel there. I'll finally upgrade the weapons with the money that I do have available. And then in the next time, uh, we're going to start a new um, haunting case. That's exactly what we're going to do. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. If you did so, um, leave a sentimental like for Sir Rivian who just passed away um, on this video and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.